This video from the Innovation Leaders Club will explain what an innovation strategy is. An innovation strategy is the foundation of a structured innovation system and it comprises three components, innovation objectives, strategic arenas, and an attack plan per strategic arena. More precisely, the video will cover five components of an innovation system to ensure all critical processes are in place for effective management. As well as three components of an innovation strategy to deep dive into the heart of this process. Don't forget that as usual, you can access for free all of the content on this video, including the PowerPoint presentation, as well as the tools, if applicable, by clicking the link in the description below. Also, if you like the video, don't hesitate to drop a like, share it with your employees, your colleagues, and even your superiors, and leave us a comment down below. If you don't want to miss a video, subscribe now and get notifications for real and practical innovation management practices coming directly from club members. The Academy works to freely share meeting content discussed during Innovation Leaders Club gatherings. Through online bundles available for a fee, the Academy ultimately provides real and practical methodologies, visuals and tools that can be edited or customized for your organization training videos, and much more based on the Innovation Leaders Club members' shared best practices and the collective proficiency of all the members' knowledge. To simplify things for everyone, including your management team, colleagues, and employees, an organization's innovation management system has five key components. Innovation strategy is the first component and the foundation of an innovation management system. Innovation strategy. What is it exactly? It quantifies the objectives for innovation. It defines the area of focus and it specifies the implementation plan. It also eases decision making regarding whether or not an innovation project is relevant to the organization, as it's always the first criteria of any decision making process. Is it aligned with the strategy or not? Not having an innovation strategy weakens the rest of the system. It's a fundamental starting point which most companies come to realize when they're looking to optimize their innovation management system. They eventually come to the conclusion that they're missing a clear strategy and that it undermines the performance of the system's remaining components. The following four components of an innovation management system are directly impacted by the innovation strategy. They can be described as follows. Once the innovation strategy is defined, the front end of innovation should be followed. Its goal is to identify innovation opportunities, generate ideas, and evaluate the initial feasibility of any innovative concept. An innovation opportunity can then be presented at the project portfolio review with sufficient data to decide whether or not the proposal is interesting to pursue. As for portfolio management, the purpose of this component is to select the best project proposals based on the previously defined innovation strategy while considering the organization's development and launch capacity. The innovation project portfolio review also has the role of maintaining a good balance between high and low risk projects with the central goal of maximizing the values of the investment in innovation activities. Once the project is selected and resources are allocated, the innovation project is transferred to the developmental phase. Ultimately, this is where the innovation is developed, tested, and validated with customers. The last component of the innovation management system is the launch phase. It encompasses the commercial and operational launch. It's also where innovation efforts start being monetized. The strength of these five linear sequential components is that they are simple and easy to understand for the rest of the organization. The reality is that an innovation process is repetitive, but let's keep it linear to keep things simple. Never miss a video. Subscribe now and get notifications for real and practical innovation management practices coming directly from club members. Don't forget to click on the link in the description below to access the content discussed in this video. What is an innovation strategy? To make things very simple for senior management and innovation stakeholders, there are three components. Goals and objectives. To quantify the organization's ambition. 
strategic arenas to clearly define where to spend efforts and ultimately reach economy of scales, as you will better understand the customer and the market context of each strategic arena. You can also reuse what was previously developed, which is a practice known as platform development, and an attack plan per strategic arena to clearly state the vision, the roadmap, and the potential business outcomes of the project portfolio. The corporate strategy defines the organization's growth, goals, and objectives. An innovation strategy can be summarized on one page and includes the goals and objectives, a few strategic arenas, no more than four to seven, with its own defined vision and roadmap, an attack plan per strategic arena comprised of a long-term vision, a three to five year roadmap, and business outcomes based on the project portfolio. Ultimately, all the strategic arena business outcomes are summed up and compared to the objectives to ensure that the strategy supports it. In this innovation strategy one pager, its three components, namely the goals and objectives, the strategic arenas as well as the attack plan are clearly outlined. Here's an example of an innovation strategy summarized on one page. It was developed by Norbeck, a club member, and the numbers have been made up for this example. Various goals and objectives are quantified, which will be explained in detail in the Goals and Objectives module. It's expected that innovations from 2021 through 2025 will generate 10 million in incremental sales. Six strategic arenas are briefly described with their contribution to the incremental sales objective. The vision is summarized for each strategic arena, and the roadmap is briefly presented with the main projects to be pursued in coming years. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos on innovation management practices discussed during the Innovation Leaders Club meetings. You may also want to get a hold of this free content, including the entire PowerPoint presentation with the text associated in the video, and if applicable, the tools presented. Here's the link to get your free package. Finally, don't hesitate to leave us a comment or watch the next video to learn even more about innovation management practices.